Hi there, today we have new course. This course talk about English writing for business. I mean that you you will help you or this course will help you write for uh, your product or about your product and uh, how to write a report. So this course will help you uh, produce your product well inshallah let's see what uh, the first one why is it important to write different sentence type in english we have different sentence type uh, the first one simple sentence and com uh, compound sentence and complex sentence uh, why is it important to write different sentence type? Uh, the first one makes your writing more interesting to your readers and hold their attention. You will grab your uh, or you will grab uh, your uh, your reader by or attention of your readers by uh, using these differences or these different type of sentence. Sentence variety also makes your writing easier to read and understand. Uh, if you use different types of sentence, that uh, will help uh, other or your readers to understand what you mean and what uh, what you what you try to do by those or these differences. Uh, different types of uh, sentence. يعني in Arabic استخدامك ل لأنواع مختلفة من الجمل بيساعد القراء على الفهم وبيساعدهم على إنك تجذب انتباههم لمنتجك خاصة. Let's see this comparison between two paragraph. The first one we started. Our business in 2019. Today, we work with customers around the world. We are internet based. Uh, our customers find our product convenient and affordable. We know our customers' needs. We know how to serve our customers. The first paragraph, all the sentences are. Uh, uh, the same type uh, each idea seems to exist uh, independently yani each uh, each sentence have uh, or each clause have uh, subject and verb that's uh, so uh, difficult to understand let's see the next paragraph <coughs> we started our business in 19 or in 20 2019 today and today we work with customers around the world because we are internet based our customers find our product convenient and affordable we know what our customers needs and how to serve them the second paragraph uh, we use or we use the conjunctions and not all clauses have uh, subject and verb. Uh, that will help uh, your readers to to understand what you mean and what you try to do, and uh, will grab uh, their attention to your uh, product. يعني in Arabic باستخدامك للconjunctions واللي هي أدوات الربط بيساعد القراء على فهم شو عم تحكي وشو بدك توصل simple sentence this is the first one of types of sentence uh, simple sentence uh, are one independent clause or a group of words where the subject and verb يعني بالسمبل سنتنس هي طبقات منفصلة أو كل جمل هي جمل منفصلة عن بعض وبكل جملة عندنا سبجكت وفيرب اندبندنت كلوز ار سبجكت اند فيرب 
combination that makes sense. Let's see the first example. You can write them four different ways using multiple subjects and verb. For instance, ABC company markets handmade object. ABC company markets handmade objects and sells them around the world. You can notice that uh, we use uh, subject and verb in each clause or in each sentence uh, here in this uh, paragraph. The next one, ABC and market handmade object. ABC and XYZ market handmade object and sell them around the world. That's so difficult to write about uh, or to understand what you mean uh, because each sentence uh, is independent or written independent had written independently. Compound sentence. Compound sentences are two independent clause joined together with conjunctions, semicolon, uh, and transition words are semicolon and semicolon alone. Yani, that's mean in Arabic. Uh, compound sentence uh, have or has has uh, conjunctions between uh, the water robot between the every sentence. Not uh, every sentence are alone or rest. What's an independent clause? It's a phrase that can stand alone as a sentence. Uh, yani each, uh, each clause from these sentences can or uh, can uh, stand alone. It don't need, uh, and he don't need or it not it it's don't need it don't need the. Uh, it doesn't need to other uh, uh, sentence to explain what you mean. The most common conjunctions are connecting words that writers use in compound sentence are and uh, and but or and so you need comma before conjunctions. Yani those. The most commas or the most uh, conjunctions that we use it when we writing for business and what so or and we need comma before conjunctions those conjunctions let's explain why we use and it's past uh, 11 p.m. Uh, and she still hasn't arrived. Uh, we use and to connect between two clauses. And uh, the next uh, reason is because the two clauses have or ha have the same uh, equal importance. يعني الاثنين إنه نفس الأهمية فنستخدم and the third one. Uh, we use it for connecting between two clauses uh, and the fourth one because the second clause is a consequence of the first uh, one as uh, he went to bed early and the next day he felt better yani we can use it use and uh, like as a result of or as uh, as a four. Okay, we have but and for, but uh, the but conjunction is used to introduce a sentence that contrasts with the preceding words. Uh, let's see this example. Mary sprinted quickly, but she couldn't catch rock like yeah I mean uh, we mean Maris rented quickly but she did uh, couldn't catch correct because we have uh, here we have contrasting between those two sentences because she sprinted quickly but she didn't 
or she cut, uh, couldn't catch Rick. The next one, or. We use the or conjunctions to, con uh, to connect between two alternative clause, such as will Mary go or will Rick go? Yani those two, uh, you have two choices to choose between them. Or the next one, for and yet. For, we employ the for conjunction, which means because, yani we have in the first uh, sentence, uh, or in the second sentence, uh, the reason for, for making the first uh, sentence. When the second clause provides the reason for the first, as in the felt shyly because it's it was snowing. The next one yet we use yet for uh, yani yet that have or uh, is the same of but yani you have reason and uh, other clothes. Uh, it means something like but at the same time but uh, nevertheless but uh, in spite of this there is a contrast between the clauses uh, as with but for instance I've known him for a long time but I've never really uh, understood him we have under we have contrasting between two uh, clauses so we have we we use yet or we can use but what is the next we have in this uh, in this slide uh, the transition words to make compound sentence some of the transition words uh, writers used to form compound sentence are therefore however and as a result the first one your business may be across the world however we will treat you like neighbors yani we can use however as but because there is a constructing between those two clauses and the second one we treat our clients like neighbors as a result the value of our service we can use as a result because there is a reason there is a, a result after uh, the expression as a result and we need to add the semicolon before those two expression and comma after them and in Arabic نستخدم however مثال مثل للمقارن بين two clauses and ومنستخدم as a result for uh, لما بيكون عندنا نتيجة فمنحط النتيجة بعد as a result ما بننسى نضيف الكما بعدهم والسمايكلون after uh, قبلهم okay here we have a question to answer in the comment which option shows the best ways to combine these two sentences يعني أي خيار هو الأصح بالاستخدام للconjunctions conjunctions our next goal is it gain to uh, 20 percentage more customers and the next close the marketing team is working harder okay Thanks for watching this video and we will um, I will meet you again inshallah